Hello, my beautiful people, Vertigo here once again for another episode of Jurassic World the game. And there is something magical if I press battle right there. You can see we have a megalodon battle. There is no aquatic battle. Uh, today is the 22nd, unfortunately, so we're clicking closer to Christmas now. And uh, we don't have an aquatic battle. However, we've got so many events to come up, I can guarantee it. Because the fact is, this day ends in a day in 22 hours, which means I'm pretty sure that means it finishes on the 24th. So Christmas Eve, so we should probably get something like buck deals and, and a massive event sort of thing around that time. Uh, would have been good to save Megalodon for then, because Christmas Eve, you know, a little early present. But damn, am I excited for this. The only problem being is it's going to be an absolutely crazy battle. I don't know if we're going to be able to do it. I'm going to give it all my all. Um, it's one. <laughs> I've got 1.5 million. It's going to cost 1.5 million. I've got things already hatching. You can notice my bucks have halved. I've been pushing for level 65 so I can do the... Uh, experiment if you will um i've bought a load of expansions with bucks that got me at level 61 and i've been slowly but surely buying the um the old bodgema flips um blah, 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 blah. Hammond statue. Good God, that took me longer than I'd like to <laughs> like to admit. Right, guys, before we go any further, before we actually start the video, we'll go ahead and do our little race first. So you guys on the drill. Two seems to be fair. It seems to be an even amount of people winning and losing in this. So what's going to happen is I'm going to delete these two little toilet paper fountain thingy majiggies. In the time it takes me to delete two, you have to be able to like the video. If you beat me, you're more than allowed to gloat in the comment section down below saying, "Oh, I beat you, Vertical. You're the worst." And I'll be like, "I know." <laughs> right, let's go ahead. Three, oh, that's not giving my health said start. That's naughty. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Done. That was less than two seconds at least. So if you beat me there, you're not in full screen. Get in full screen, you scrub. <laughs> right, um, what's next? Oh, yes, I forgot to mention. Another magical thing is that we finally, finally, finally got the Capra suit because we're not going to be focusing on this episode had we not had that freaking shark come out of nowhere. Trust me, we would have... And uh, we'll go ahead and feed it just the once, though, because I love the feeding animation. It just leaps, leaps, climbs up, and it goes... And then it just, like, pounces down, like, no, nah, no, nah, I don't give a... It goes out of camera shot, and then comes back, like, sup, bruh. <laughs> I love him. We've got to find a nickname for the cat, bro, so if you've got any suggestions, drop a uh, comment down below. What we'll do now is we can actually drop into this megalodon, what lies beneath. Um, actually terrified of what I have to do in this scenario, because I'm going to have to go um, something like this. But I don't want to... I've got bucks at the end of the day. I'd much rather just use my bucks for my coins because I've not got enough coins. And I'd have to swap them for bucks, and that sounds like an absolutely stupid idea, but I really, really want this Megalodon. <laughs> oh, dear me. I can't wait to see how much it's going to cost me to freaking hatch it. Okay. Oh, joy. Megalo um, uh, Indominus came out pretty early. Um, in fact, a bit too early, if you ask me. <laughs> well... Had I known this was going to happen, this would have been a very, very easy battle, but I didn't. So that's my defence right there. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> right, then we've got the Unisaurus uni going to university. He had two. I only need two, so we're going for full out four, uh, which was a waste, it turns out. <laughs> Doesn't matter, because he's going to come in and he's going to do what? Jackal. Ooh, I don't know, actually. If he goes full out six, he might. No, he, he doesn't. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to go for four the next turn regardless, I can just go for that. I really have not... I might take some damage now, but I've not taken a single hit. Okay, now I have, but that is ridiculous. I, I did not need these three. I've wasted... I think if you don't use them in a battle, you shouldn't have to... Obviously, you have to spend money because you put them in a battle, but you shouldn't have to spend as much. So if you've used them in a battle and they've not been KO'd, uh, that's less, like 10% less than you should. And if they've not been even used, that's like 50% less. Come on, guys. <laughs> if they're taking damage, then you know you have to pay regardless. Uh, but it should be on the percentage of their health, not the amount of health they have, otherwise, Jesus Christ, Indominus. But, um, right. We need Indominus. Okay, this isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, in all honesty. Um, I was expecting, like, level 40 Indominuses and just me crying out my teeth. Um, how's that work? <laughs> that's called, um, that's called spitting, I'm pretty sure. Right. One reserve. He's going to have... Oh, please tell me he doesn't switch in. Well, I think he's going to switch in. He's going to. Oh, crud. Um, funny enough, even with, um... Three out. Uh, oh, no, no, because he had two. So one. Yeah, I can't do Jack Ghibli squat. Um, I'm thinking we might need to save... Because um, the Indominus is only... Is kind of actually really important. So please, let's not die here. Okay, I didn't pay attention, but he must have gone for full out reserve. Oh, God. Okay, so I need to think three to kill him. Yeah, crap. So we're going to go full out. 
regardless of what happens, it does not matter. Gignus Eflis is next anyway. Um, it does mean, however, he did have quite a lot of reserves, which he's going to be putting all into blocks anyway, but he only needs two to wipe me, so he's got three blocks. Uh, essentially, it does not really matter in the slightest, uh, because I need two to kill him, so if I just go for full out, or I should have gone for one block, but four is absolutely fine, because basically the Sarko now can wipe both of these out with no sort of problem whatsoever. I mean, he's frozen in the Tyrannosaurus anyway, so the T-Rex is out with uh, three attacks or three blocks. More than likely gone for an even two or something like that, but let's have a look. So I need, how many do I need to kill him? I think I need three. Nope, I only need two. But he's gone for probably three blocks at the highest. We'll go for two reserves. He's only gone for one. Uh, downside to that is I've just wasted so many, but upside is regardless of what happens in the Giganocephalus, I only need two from the uh, Indominus to kill him. And he needs to go for at least three to kill me here. So he didn't, although he could have. So we go for four reserves and two blocks. He needs at least five attacks to kill me. He'll have three blocks. I'll have eight attacks. He's dead regardless. Um, so, oh, he doesn't even go for anything. Right, I think at this point I might actually just tempt fate because I can kill with four. Yeah, I can. So if we go full out with eight, um, five is more than enough. So, but someone commented saying that power attacks were seven or eight attacks. I didn't know that. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've done it without them. Um, I might review my footage and probably tell myself that I'm wrong. But thank you very much for that. I did not know that. Moving swiftly on, let's go ahead and find the final battle. Oh, this DNA. Oh, maybe I need a DNA. Is really freaking easy. Okay, um, well. Retark to Pelter, lead the way. Followed by Sarko. Followed by... Well, I've not got any other heart strong herbivores, so the Indominus is probably the best bet. I didn't even look at my... I've not looked at my bucks the entire time that I was spending them, so I'm sorry, guys, if you are crying because I'm crying too. I'm hoping I get DNA, coins, and bucks. I'm, I, <laughs> I've never asked for coins. I have never asked properly for coins, but at this point, I'm, I'm always saying they need to make sure that they have a decent amount of them in there, and they never freaking do. Right, so we'll go for three. Uh, I know I'm at a disadvantage here. I'm just hoping that he doesn't go for an attack and I can basically waste off Sarko because Sarko is weak against the other two. Uh, he's got two attacks or possible two blocks. So in this instance, I'm pretty sure I can wipe him. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, how many do I need to kill him? I need three. Oh, I need to go full out to kill him if he's got any blocks, which he didn't. I really need to start predicting this sort of crap. <laughs> so he's gone for two reserves, in fact. Um, oh, I just pushed the cupboard in. I'm so sorry you heard that. <laughs> RIP headphone user. So he's got five attacks. Simply needs to go for two. Got three blocks. Um, I'm not going to do jack diddly squat with it. But basically, at this point, uh, Antarctica Pelter is just as useful as, um, well, if not u less use of uh, an Indominus. Only pro being that it takes down their attacks quite considerably. I'm only really worried about the hybrid at the end. Uh, this Demorphodon is not really packing much of a punch. How much do I need to kill him? I think it's three. No, four. Fantastic. So we go for, like, we go for six and two blocks. Uh, I don't even kill him, unfortunately. And he'll probably kill me now. But the bright side is I will be able to finish him in a quick, easy blow. Yep, he needs to kill me with five. Yeah, because he knew he can kill me with three. Uh, so we've gone full out. I simply need to go for one attack here. Um, and then basically it lies down to what happens next sort of scenario. Uh, one block two and three i think i could survive two attacks i'm actually unsure at this point because it is a super rare in fact no i can't no i can't i definitely cannot i've just remembered now it's attack i'm just praying it doesn't go full out oh thank god it doesn't i can't kill him with three so if he's gone for four blocks i'm screwed oh i can no i can't i'm hoping he's gone for three blocks three blocks he's not gone for any <sighs> And that's how the cookie crumbles, kids. By the cookie, I mean my anal hole and my anal prelapse or prolapse or whatever it's called. I've just had a small panic attack. <laughs> okay, calm down, shall we? Um, all right. Uh, oh, wow. Best packet. Oh, wow. That shark. Okay, let's just focus on the shark a second, shall we? The back of its body don't look like it's in line with the front of the body. I mean, it looks like it's... Like, like it's twisting its neck, which I didn't think it was quite possible in that sort of angle. But oh, I wonder what we'll get. <laughs> oh my god, 750. I thought it was a thousand. Or is it 500? Oh, thank you. Okay, I didn't get the DNA I wanted, but we got the DNA from those battles, and that the, all of that was appreciated at the end of the day, even the freaking food. Um, so, oh wow, I just pressed the volume button. <laughs> it doesn't matter if the volume's not on. Okay. Okay, let's hatch a megalodon. In fact, let's let's rather than because I'm going to be using a lot of it, let's just get this Sapphire out. Um, I'm not saying any more dinosaurs um, or creatures or whatever, 
basically. I might sell one or two, and you guys are going to hate that, but, like, all these rares that I don't need, I mean, I'm not selling the Vlodicus, that's needed for a hybrid. Anything that's needed for a hybrid, essentially, won't be sold. So these guys, a Firecon might be, but I have a feeling at some point we're going to see one. Uh, we don't need the Gigantosaurus, because, of course, we've got um, the Gigantosaurus unlocked. Dungster Terrace is the next uh, hybrid with Suchomimus, as well as Diplodocus and Irritator, so those guys are basically protected for now. Um, well, if I forget what Suchomimus says. Megalodon can now be hatched. Oh. My. God. Four days, two hours, and 1,000 bucks. Oh, I didn't even think about it. I just clicked it. I'm going to get level 20. Um, that is my goal for today's episode. People will come off with level 30s, level 40s, and that's because they've been licking a little hook there because they've earned it, basically. And um, I'm just, I just want a level 20, basically. I need another surface, and my God, they gave us the, well, next to the Mosasaurus, the, the best surface uh, is. I mean, look at the model itself. You can see all the uh, all the scratches and scars it has from clearly amounts of... Uh, encounters with the other kind and look at it just swimming there we're just going to take some time to enjoy its swimming animation they're always funny as they wander off to god knows where so how you doing little buddy you okay yeah 10 out of 10 i wish those fights are quite fights because i could have got a great thumbnail for one and for two no no okay well now we know <laughs> let's not do that button um i almost pressed that on yes as well um uh, but also, I like his little like little fluke on the bottom of his uh, fin. But uh, yeah, so it'd be great for fun there, and it's great to see their animations. But we'll go ahead and see its feeding animation, at the very least. So, what happens here? So, that's quite a big mac. Like that's a really really big fish. That's a tuna or a mackerel or some description. I don't. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's let's just do that again. Okay, so it comes out, he's like, ah, nice little daytime, I look up, I see white skies, that ain't a white sky, kid, <laughs> and dead act, now you see the white sky, actually, no, you don't, you see the inside of his stomach, <laughs> R.I.P., I've also noticed something, um, when the, uh, the, the great wild megalodon, um, swims along, you can see, like, his streaming line, like, all the streamline where he's swimming, it's pretty cool, and then he goes, ah, and he gone, <laughs> so we'll go ahead and just get him to level 10 quickly, um, Oh my god, that food. 3,000 at level 5. Oh my, oh my, wow. What's it at level 10? I don't even know. Go to market, please. Yes. <sighs> okay, I was expecting to drop to 10,000 in this episode, so it's not too bad. And someone's probably like, it's not the end of the episode yet. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh, I really know. If I'd have had um, another, like, 10,000 DNA, I'd have gone for level 30. But we only have uh, an... Oh my god. God, look at those colours. It looks like flames, for God's sake. Um, oh yeah, wait, I forgot about getting this part up. So goodbye, DNA, <laughs> and more bucks. Fantastic. Okay. <sighs> I'm going to do the gold mission later off-camera. I know I said last time I did it off-camera, then I did it on-camera, but I've not got the coins, and off-camera allows me to just like mess around, basically, and um, get some more DNA and bucks from it as well. Uh, what's my mission like currently at? Two million out of three million uh, from buildings. Um, am I going to buy some more buildings as well with some of my coins as well as... Oh, actually, I've got loads of things to collect in a second then. <laughs> I'll do that shortly. Um, but I'm going to buy some more buildings such as these blimps or some more um, power generators as well as the... What um, flip little power? Ah, Hammond sculpture. Right, let's go ahead and um, have a look at a little level 11 now, if it wants to take me there. Oh, my wow. He looks a bit bulkier. I, th I think that's just me. Um... I also feel like his, like, forehead is a bit more defined, not forehead, you know what I mean, it's like, his snout is far more defined, and this colour scheme is fantastic, like, if you look at it, those little white stripes look almost like fish, like, if you're looking at it from there, yeah, cover your hand over his face and his fin, you could almost image it like scenery, and that's probably what it's for, it's like for natural camouflage, that is fantastic, like, when it gets dark, all you see is, like, the glistening of the light of, um, certain leaves, or not leaves, uh, plants, just the odd glimmer from some fish. That is what it looks like. That is fantastic. And, oh, oh, I see where you're going to swim. Where are you going to swim? <laughs> Come back here. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, no, I'll be damned. He can twist his body like hell. <laughs> wow. Oh, my wow. Yeah, let's just let's get him a feed him again. Um, because, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, wow. I think I've had my thumbnail there, though. Let's get him to level 20. See his stats are like... Um, so, he's now costing 7,000 a pop. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Um, if we get to level 20... There we go. And... Ah, that's fun now. <laughs> 18,000 coins. Ain't amazing. Um, in fact, I'm pretty sure I've got more on others. But, 
health wise and attack wise is pretty evened out, and that it means it is a beast. Wait a second, did I see something go past in that tube? I swear I saw. I must have been going crazy. Um, but yeah, no, he's um, he's no, there is, there's a train. There's a freaking. Oh my god, I didn't know that, and it follows. Oh wow, wow. Let's wait for it to go underground. Bye bye. Wait, does it come back up at any point? Oh, yeah, it does. It, it loops. Well, wow, that's fantastic. I have a mind of a child, I know. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to cut it off here. I don't think this has been a short episode. I don't, can't really tell I'm not looking at a clock at the moment. Uh, what? A clock. <laughs> uh, so if you've enjoyed the video, make a drop like down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and join my beautiful people. And stay tuned for so much more of this and so, so much more random stuff from myself. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. And ta -ra!